now checking out Renata Romaine. Renata Romaine, cool. <laughs> Tip Hop Nation, I'm Renata Romaine, your ear candy. We're back. Lupe Fiasco is here for breakfast. I asked a question on the show a couple of months ago about who controls the industry. Is it the executives in the in the in the label or is it the people? So I want to qualify the question by asking, are you disappointed that um, or do you feel as if the people don't really rally a- around you and artists like yourself the way that you would like for them to? Because album sales, isn't that a reflection of that? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm being led to be self, you say? self-pitying. I'm not self-pitying, you know, and I don't I don't really get into what I feel other people should be doing for me. You know, I don't get into that because people have their reasons. I have a core group of people that are my creative, you know, go-tos. And anything beyond that doesn't really matter. You yeah. Know, like, I've been in this business for 15 years. Right. Um, On record companies. You know, not just underground rapper. Before that, I was an underground rapper since I was 14. Wow. Um, so I've I've understood what what you should allow yourself to be affected by and what you don't. A lot of the stuff I don't. But I don't really get into that, you know, and I feel like that's something people project onto artists that they really? should have that because they project that from because that's what they want. Right. You know, they live their lives based on the, the you know, the qualifications of others, right. which I never really did. And that doesn't fit in this business. Um, so that's part of kind of right a reason why I'm the a little left the center or the black sheep in certain capacities, because I don't fit with that. You know, I don't, right. I don't, I'm not a status quo dude. I'm not like that in regular life. Right. I don't eat McDonald's. You know, it's like one right. of them dudes like, oh, but you should eat McDonald's because it's everywhere. You right, know, it's like, right. Nah, I don't. Yeah. Um, And if for some people that's a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't fit into their, to their molds. Um, but even with that said, the people that, that don't eat McDonald's either, I don't necessarily need to go to Burger King with them. You know, like I, they don't have to come with me. You know, it's not like we have this. Right. crew now because we all don't eat mcdonald's and everybody's gonna support each other got it because i don't shop at kmart either you know you're just like, such an like, individual I, I hesitantly i would say that no one's really an individual though okay. you know if you really want to be real everybody still wears the same clothes as everybody else and wants the same things as everybody else that that's not really being an individual you know um what, what do you want lupe fiasco i want to go away i want silence you know what i'm saying you I want go, silence i want to go back to australia and uh the outback front page and nobody knows about it here. This is these are my last interviews. Really? Why? A couple more, I think. I'm done. When you, when you say you're done, what do you mean? I'm done with my record label. My contract is over. Um, I'm still gonna do albums and do music, but I feel like I was never fit to be in this public capacity because I don't really like it. You so know. it's like these are like I, we pick. We literally picked like okay, Lupe, you gotta do some interviews. You gotta promote the album. So we literally like handpicked right. the people we were gonna do interviews. Well, for. I'm glad you handpicked me. And turned down a lot of people. A lot of people are kind of mad that we right. didn't do it. Right. But uh, but yeah, it's like the last last one. 